a lot of young men waste their youth. When you're when you're in your 20s, you have your, the most vital power. You have the most vital energy in your body. You do not want to waste it. You want to maximize it. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, good to see you back. Hope the ranch is going well. If you could brush up on something today, I'd appreciate it. I want to join the military, have for quite some time, but I have pets and family obligations, and sometimes I don't believe in the reason we go to war. You got any ideas where I can put my warrior spirit to fight and protect without being contractually obligated to the military? I love my country. I hope you know where I'm, I hope you see where I'm coming from. Thanks. So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to kind of like go back and not convince, but maybe encourage you to consider the military just a little bit longer, right? I'm not trying to change your mind. If you, if you, if you've decided that you don't want to do it, that's fine. And I'll probably, I'll speak to that. But I just remember when I was 23 and I went to, I was getting ready to go to OCS and I let life situations right? And obligations stopped me. I was going through the entire process, uh, you know, and I took all the tests and I was scheduled to go and man, it was all about to happen. And then like yourself, I kind of let other obligations and things that were going on in my life um, distract me, I guess you could say, or, or, you know, maybe by the grace of God, veer me away. Um, and so I ended up not going. And it's not that I have regrets about not going, but I recognize that there was a short window of opportunity for me to have ever been in the military, right? There's a window of opportunity for that. You're not, I'm not going to go there now at 42. At 42 years old, there's a lot of things I can do. A lot of things I can do, but there are certain things where the window of opportunity has passed. I just want you to just take that a little bit further into consideration because it's not like you can... Uh, you know, deal with your pets and your family obligations for the next 10 years and then decide, you know, when you're 35, well, you know, I'm going to go to the military. <laughs> there's certain there's a certain point where that has eclipsed, right? And so I just want you to take that in consideration that with certain, like a lot of you guys ask me about sports too, right? Like, yo, Elliot, should I play? Should I play in a sports team? And I always encourage you to do it because I'm like, yeah, because you're not going to be able to do it forever, <laughs> right? You're not going to be able to play football. I had one young man who was asking about football and I'm like, and, and it was between football and a job. And I was like, bro, you can work a job anytime. You can work, a, you can work jobs when you're 65. You, you, you'll, there'll always be job opportunities, but there's a window of opportunity for you to go to the military. There's a window of opportunity for you to play football. There's a window of opportunity for certain things. You know, uh, people don't like to think about that, even in terms of like women, right? There's a window of opportunity for having children, right? But then they want to wait, right? They want to wait and want to wait till their eggs rot. And then they, you know, when they're 35, 40 years old, they already hit the wall and they try to bait it down some dude uh, and she can't make babies. They got to do test tubes. Right. They got to take all kinds of drugs and injections. And by then, you know, the baby comes with the baby's like test tube baby. Right. You don't want to wait. You don't want to wait when there's when youth is on your side. Youth. There are certain things you only you can do when you're young. There's you guys have watched me kind of grow up. Right. I started making YouTube videos when I was 27 and I'm, you know, I'm 42 now. So I'm going on going on 20 years almost. Right. That I'm making this stuff. I can't do what I did back then. <laughs> I try my best, right? You know, I, as an athlete or as an entertainer. Um, but the workload that I was under, I was, I was raising, I was making family, right? I was making a family. I was, I, my baby, my wife was having a bunch of babies. I was in debt. I was building a business. I was at the gym. I was making videos. All those things. When I think about back when I was in my twenties, when all the things I was doing, I'm like, it makes me sweat now just thinking about it. I'm like, whoo, how the hell did I do that? I can't do that. I don't want to do that. I can't do that anymore. Right. And so I say that because you might have that same type of experience and realize that, you know, there's only certain things that I could do right now that I'm young and you want to squeeze the juice here. Just a little bit of a side rant, mini rant. A lot of a lot of young men waste their youth. When you're when you're in your twenties, you have your, the most vital 
power. You have the most vital energy in your body. You do not want to waste it. You want to maximize it. I think a large part of the reason why I became successful in my 30s is because in my 20s, I was not sleeping around chasing women. I had one. I had one. I had my wife. I was not drinking. I did not drink at all between like 24 and like 30. For like six years, I didn't drink anything. I didn't smoke anything. I didn't, I didn't use anything. So there was no partying. I was in bed every night at the same time. I did this in my late 20s. Married to, the, to one woman. I was having sex with one woman. I was focused. And, I, and here's the thing. Like all that energy when you're, when, when you're young like that, when you're vital like that, it's like the power of the sun magnified into a magnifying glass. It's just directed. The power of the sun will warm. It'll get things done, right? It'll warm. But the power of the sun condensed into that magnifying glass will burn shit up. And I was burning shit up during that time of my life. And, and I think that you guys can do the same thing, right? If you direct your energy, not spread it. Don't spread. This is, you know, not everybody's going to give you the same advice. I didn't spread my energy at all. My energy was Focus. You, you need to be focused. And it was easier for me then than maybe it is for you guys now because there's too many opportunities. That's a part of what sucks for you guys right now is that there's too many opportunities. People, you know, you say, oh, the land of opportunity or the time of opportunity. And they say it like it's a good thing. It's not always a good thing because there's too many distractions. There's too many. You can spread yourself way too thin. I don't want all that. I want focus on one thing, on one direction. I want to put all my eggs in one basket and watch that shit grow. So that's my advice on that. Now, you're asking me also, do I have any ideas about where you could put your warrior fighting spirit and to protect? Yes, but here's the thing. With something like the military or something like being on a sports team when you're young, you, you have the help of a support structure di helping you direct your energy, right? With the military, you have the hierarchy. With the sports team, you have the team and you have the coaches. Um, when you have that support structure, when you're accountable, I think this is important. When you're accountable to somebody or something else, like you say, you don't want to be contractually obligated, but there's a, there's a benefit to being obligated. You, you don't fuck around. You just, and not only do you not fuck around, but you don't have to worry about what to do. I think I would have been good in the military because if, if I had someone just tell me what to do, I would, like I said, with the focus, I would just dive right in, right? Put on this helmet, take this gun, crawl through that mud and shoot everything that moves. I would have been like, yes, sir. Right? Very simple, very directed. That's, that's warrior. Warrior energy is like the point of a sword. It's not spread. It's not spread. And when you have obligation, when you have authorities, it's good to have authorities that tell you what to do. It's a benefit to it because then you don't have to think about it and you don't spread yourself thin. You can focus like the point of that, that sword, right? That's very warrior-like. Warriors know how to take orders. It's very warrior-like. And it's good in your 20s to practice your ability to take and fulfill orders. What's the order, sir? Where do you want me to go? Like with football, I was so good at football because I had one thing to do, one thing only, right? Hit that man with the ball. Wherever that man is with the ball, get him. I didn't have to think about anything else, right? That's a good thing. Now, you can, if you have that support structure, you can, you can allow your warrior spirit to flourish. That's the best place to allow your warrior spirit to flourish because the warrior is not the king. The warrior is not sovereign. There's no such thing as a, warrior, a sovereign warrior. A sovereign warrior is a mercenary, right? A, a real warrior has devotion. A real warrior takes orders from the king, right? And the king can be the authority in your life, outside of your life, right? I'm not saying that you have to call your military commander king, but it's that sovereign. It's, it's what the warrior devotes himself to, right? Or who the warrior devotes himself to. I think back to now of my ability to focus and concentrate my energy when I was in my 20s, even though I wasn't in the military and I wasn't on a sports team, but why? But why? Why was Elliot able to focus all his energy without these kind of support structures, 
I was married and having children. So I had a devotion. I had to devote I was something that I was devoted to. I was not working just for me. I had to fulfill my own orders. I had to decide how, what I was going to do, but it wasn't for me. Everything that I did, everything that I still do, I do it because of my family. I have a family. I have a family. Right? I have a wife. I have children. So that's another way to, to build up that warrior fighting spirit, right? If you don't go to the military, go get your girlfriend pregnant, right? Marry her first. Don't have more babies out of wedlock. Go and get married. Start having children. Guarantee you can be focused like a warrior. That's how I was. That's when I was at my most focused, working my hardest. It was when I had that, I was devoted to a family, I was devoted to raising a family, starting a family, right? Um, I had I heard a mentor of mine once said that um, entrepreneurs are like the modern day, like the modern day warriors. Entrepreneurs are like the modern day warriors. And I can understand why he said that, right? Because it's about planning and execution. So you could do that. You could, you, could, you could exercise your warrior spirit through business, through work, through sports, through military. You could exercise your warrior spirit by signing up for a powerlifting meet and, and creating a plan, executing that plan, and going to war on that day at the powerlifting meet or to do a strongman show. Right. You could do mixed martial arts. Right. Mixed martial arts might be a, a, even like a better choice or anything where you have where you hire a coach. Right. It's, it's easier to be a warrior when you got a coach. It's easier to be a warrior when you have an authority. Seasoned warriors that become the authority are no longer really, you know, warriors in that way. Right. And so it's better for retired warriors to be the leaders. But when you when you a hot blooded. Pissing vinegar, fighting and fucking warrior in your youth, you just need somebody to point you in the right direction. and You go ham. You go hard. And I think you can do that. I think you could do that. I, can, I think you could do that with any of the uh, any of the ideas that I just laid out there to you. But. Don't be so quick to overlook the military or anything that you have a only a window of opportunity for. Recognize, recognize time flies. Recognize time flies. Ain't going to be where you are always. You're going to grow up and shit changes. So I hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.